Hi everyone, welcome. My name is Janet. I'm here for you, a health coach, and I like to work with people that generally want to feel better or want to lose weight or um, are, have an autoimmune disease and they're trying to navigate the kitchen. I like to come on Facebook and show some healthy recipes and since it's Thanksgiving week, I thought I would share with you what we do at our home to get ready for our Thanksgiving. One of the things I love about Thanksgiving is listening to everybody's um, traditions. And ours is that we brine the bird the night before Thanksgiving. So it's 24 hours in the brine solution. We take it out of the water. I let it sit at room temperature for about an hour. And then I cook the bird in the oven. So we don't stuff the bird. We do dressing on the side. When you brine a bird, it is saltier. So if you do stuff it after brining, I've never done it, but um, they say that your stuffing will then become too salty. What brining does is traps moisture in. So it's a great way to cook a turkey um, and have it really moist. This year I'm going to do indirect heating. So after we brine, after it sits out, I'm gonna put it on the grill and actually smoke it, which will be kind of fun. So the tips to brining, it's really simple and you can start like tonight, I'm gonna to get it ready so that it's ready for Wednesday night when I wanna um, brine the bird. So you need a lot of water. So I actually have two pots out and I'm just doing that kind of to, for demonstration purposes, but you're gonna fill up your pot with water and you're gonna add two cups of salt. The salt is what makes the bird trap. That's the brine really. I use the um, kosher salt. I like that the best. So that's what I use. So I, I'll dump that in. I'm gonna use two cups of apple cider vinegar. And I have some organic brown uh, apple cider vinegar. I'm gonna put that in. And I went out in my garden and I have rosemary, fresh rosemary. Put that in. Some people don't like rosemary. If you don't like rosemary, don't put it in. If you want something different, put that in. It's completely up to your preference. <coughs> then you take an onion. I have a large onion. I'm going to cut that and put that in. And this is going to boil and then cool. So it doesn't have to be fancy. You don't have to take the skin off going to stay in there. So we're just going to put it in just like that. I'm going to put in bay leaf. Bay leaf has a great flavor, um, really earthy and piney, and I love the flavor. So I'm going to put in about uh, four bay leaves. I also have some fennel seeds, anise, and I use fennel in my dressing, so I am going to use that here and I'm gonna put about a tablespoon. And then I have peppercorn, just the whole peppercorn. And I'm gonna put a tablespoon of that. And we're gonna put a quarter cup, sorry, about a cup of brown sugar. So you have the acid, the sweet, the salt, so all those flavors are going to go in to your bird and make it be wonderful. And what you do from here is you have to boil the water, stir it so everything dissolves, and then cool it. And that is why you want to have this done ahead of time because you don't want to put hot solution onto your turkey or you're going to start to cook it right away, which can bring in um, bacteria, which you don't want. Everybody gets sick on Thanksgiving, that's not good. So I set this up tonight. I'm gonna boil it, cool it, and then when I get ready to get my turkey out, oh, I also have ginger, I forgot to show you, I have ginger. I'm gonna put all of this in here. I'm just gonna cut it up into chunks and put it in as well, because the ginger is a great flavor. When I go to take it out of the brine and I let it sit, then pat it with paper towels, put it on the grill, or put it in the oven. To get it ready for overnight in the brine, 
I saw this tip 20 years ago and we've been doing it since. So I have my husband bring in our cooler. I put a big black garbage bag in there, the big garden garbage bags, put the turkey in the bag, put the cold solution on top, and then bring the bag and tie it up in a knot so all that solution is surrounded on the turkey. I put a big bag of ice on top of that and put it out in the garage and let it sit all night. So it stays cold, it's um, keeping it safe, we're not getting bacteria, and it's also in that brine solution all night. Then the next day when I'm ready to take it out at noon or one, uh, it's, uh, it's always cold and perfect. So that's a really good tip for you. It's really simple to do that. So big cooler, big black garbage bag, big turkey, throw all your solution in, and then let it sit for 24 hours. So that's how you make a brine. I hope that helps if you've never done it before. It's something new to try. And I'd love to hear if you do uh, use the brine, let me know how it goes for you. And again, I'm Janet here for you health coaching. And if you have any messages, please leave a message for me. I'd love to hear from you and I respond to every message I get. Have a great Thanksgiving. Have a wonderful holiday season and we'll be talking to you again soon. Bye-bye.